And here we have the modern party lounge on the Wan Turin D Tower penthouse lot in San Myshuno. I hope you enjoyed the speed build there. I felt like I didn't have too much to say about this build in particular, like during the actual speed build, so I decided to just have some music on for you all and then we can go through the build and talk more about it during the tour now. So this place originally has an apartment, but I was so inspired by the new party essentials kit to make a lounge or a nightclub kind of a lot, and this is the result. Also shout out to the EA Creative Network for providing me with a free code to this kit. And you know, this was a lot of fun to do. I wanted to mix the more darker modern style with some pops of colors like yellow, blue and pink, more like Key West colors I feel like. Also it does have some greenery on the walls and plants here and there, kind of like an urban jungle in a way too. But I did go back and forth a lot regarding the size of the actual build because I wanted more outdoor space than indoors, however I feel like the inside is rather spacious as well. We're going to have a look at that later and we'll start with the outdoors first. One thing that I definitely wanted to have was to like make separated spaces for the outdoors. So over here we have some cabanas, I think they're called. They are, I would almost say like maybe they're kind of like VIP lounges. I put in like these really cute neon lights from the new party essentials kit here like maybe this is the flamingo cabana <laughs> like the llama cabana and the cow plant cabana like maybe you could rent these spaces exclusively we also do have this space here with the dj booth and the brand new disco ball that i think is really nice and there's like confetti on the floors there are balloons i did make this like glass roof using these uh, glass pieces from the island living pack. I just sized them down. I think they might be a bit glitchy like if you go over to this part. If that does happen make sure to go into build mode and click the little pieces because they will probably be a bit glitchy on the inside here. So just a heads up about that. Other than that we have like an invisible dance floor here actually. This is also from the new kit. I thought it also would be fitting to just have like a few tables here and bar stools. Going over to this little space, this is what I would call like the perfect Instagram photo wall. <laughs> so I did put this plant wall decoration on the wall with this brand new neon light as well just a few like decorations here and there and this camera from the moschino pack over in this little corner we have like a little outdoor snack place with some new party essentials things i also made this like cutout in the wall <laughs> to sort of like make a bar or like you could order drinks here or something like that. I decided to put in the boba tea station here. You can of course change this out to be an actual bar because I don't think the, the boba tea uh, will actually function here unless you have the lot type for that. But if you do put in a bar here, it will be functional, functional like you can order from the outside here because of the, the half wall. So actually make a DJ appear. You can click on the DJ booth and then hire a DJ in that way. The same goes for the bubble tea station over here. You can click on it and then hire a vendor and they will show up and we just order a bubble tea here so it's all good. Going over to this side, I put two and two loungers together here to make them sort of look bigger. Um, a bit more cozy I think. So we have the umbrellas here, there are little knickknacks on the tables here and I think the shape of the pool is really nice. <laughs> that was like what, what inspired the rest of the lot to be honest. So as you saw in the speed build, I did start out with the pool. I put in this live edit net object from Snowy Escape. I think it's meant to be in like the skiing uh, part of uh, Mount Komarebi, but sometimes I use it as like an actual net just to like imagine maybe like a a water volleyball <laughs> thing here and just a few loungers and I put also this horse ranch ball in here and sized it down and this one actually has like a volleyball swatch so I thought it would be perfect here. I also um, I also did decide to include this I guess they were like water park objects <laughs> and I put them in here 
so I rarely use them, but I thought they would be really cute to just have them here like next to the pool. This part here is definitely one of my favorite parts as well. We have this stage here that is very colorfully decorated. I put in like the large um, TV there. I think it's from Movie Hangout or something. Just lots of colorful things. The keyboard, a few microphones. I put in this like confetti cannon from growing together <laughs> as well. And I thought it was really nice to have like a, a pool in the front here so people can just like chill being in the pool while there's like a music artist on the stage and you know just have a good time. For this area I once again used the island living uh, glass pieces to put together a roof here over the stage. As for the two remaining spaces here I used the eco lifestyle dividers and I rotated some of them with the tool mod and I put them like above here to kind of make like a roof and I thought that would be really really nice for these spaces. Below here I once again put in like a little seating area. I also put a big hot tub and just like a TV on the wall. This is the new one from the Party Essentials kit as well along with the speakers and also these streamers. I think they're called up in the, um, the roof here or ceiling. Once again we have some more tables and bar stools. I thought it would be really fun to have like the ping pong table outdoors here. Also buy some more seating areas and of course we do have an outdoors bar as well. Also these like lights hanging from the ceiling are also from the party essentials kit. I really do love them. I did size them up using the tool mod. As for the actual inside we do have the elevator over here. It kind of sucks that we only can put one elevator on a penthouse lot but I decided to put it here. Right next to it I put in a few bathrooms with showers. I imagine you know with this lot having like pools and hot tubs and everything I think it would be very handy to have some showers. You know the sims can just wash themselves before they go into the pool, things like that. I did include a kitchen here. It's not supposed to be like a kitchen for a restaurant or anything. It's more just like if you want to make some food here, if you have a party here. And it's also just like right next to the outdoors bar here. So I think it makes sense. By the elevator we also have some more seating and some plants. I really wanted this entire place to be lots of plants. You have some big windows here. You can see like the nice view of the city and also just all the plants as well. Going over to this space I thought well I wasn't really sure what to do in the beginning but I wanted to have an indoors snack place too. This one has a bit more to offer. I also put in this table here that you can serve food on and you can also use the fountain here, fill it with cheese, chocolate, fruit punch or sparkling apple juice. <laughs> and just a few decorations here and there just to put in some more colors. There are a lot of dark walls here and also like the dark brown flooring. Going over to this space I really did enjoy putting this together. I decided to pop in some more color on the wall so I put in this like pretty blue wall. There are some balloons hanging from the wall as well. More seating space. You could just hang out, have a chat. I used this neon light from the Moschino pack. More speakers, some magazines and a drink tray. And here we have like the biggest karaoke place I would say. It's more out in the open. It's not secluded in any way. So you can just have a fun time here doing some karaoke as well and I did use a lot of the same like clutter items decorating and I also really wanted to use these like funky chairs from growing together. I used them over here for the tables too so I really wanted to include those and they just look very fun in my opinion. The second floor looks like this. The roof has this glass ceiling so I couldn't really like do a lot of separating like into rooms and everything in the middle here. So I did leave it as an open space. 
we have more of like another ping pong table here, another karaoke machine, like the small one. I also wanted to use more of this couch, but do like a curved section here, if that makes sense. And I did put some like flowers in the middle here that I thought was like a cool idea. And I've put together a few rugs here to make this like checkered uh, texture. And we just have like a TV here. You can watch anything you would like basically. And you might be wondering what are these rooms? <laughs> so again, I wasn't too sure what to do on the second floor. And then I got the ID or like my, my friend, my friend Katie gave me this idea that they might be like rental rooms in a way. So I came up with the idea that they might be themed and yeah, that's what I, that's what I went for basically. So we do have four themed rental rooms here that you can rent to have like more of like a secluded party, if that makes sense. And there are also a few bathrooms on the second floor too. So I did put in these like little machines here. They are a live edit object from, for example, a city living. And I thought maybe you could like, you, you pay here, basically. <laughs> you pay for this room and through this machine, basically, I'm not sure if that's really realistic in any way, but in The Sims, I thought it sounded like a cool idea. I also put in this like neon texture above all the rooms to maybe like indicate the room is free or not. So maybe it changes color. Why don't we start with this room? So the theme for this room is basically like a, a backyard party, as you might see from like the, the grass <laughs> flooring here. I did put in some hedges and these more and more of these dividers. Almost all of the, the rental rooms have the this like table with snacks and everything. You can put your cake on top of this thing as well. And we have a disco ball karaoke machine and like a separate microphone if you want to do like a speech or anything. I thought, I think like this could be a cool place for having like a bachelor, a bachelorette party, something like this if you have the My Wedding Stories pack. So it's very like backyard styling here I feel like. I did another one of these like photo walls with the neon light too and I think it turned out pretty cute actually. The next room over here is more like, I don't really know, I put, I used the, um, like the flooring here is the one with like the clouds and the stars and everything that came with the horse ranch pack, I think, that came with like the ceiling painting update as well. So this is very like dark and spacey in a way, <laughs> if that makes sense. So dark colors, I put in the disc ball again. We have some presents, another one of these like invisible dance floors. I also put in a gaming console and a TV. So you can sit here, you can either do karaoke or play a game, play together with like your guests. But I think this one turned out pretty cool as well. Like the color theme and everything, pretty nice. The third room, as you can see, is beach themed. So I put in the sand flooring here. <laughs> this one is from base game and I feel like I rarely use it, but I really wanted to include it here for the beach room. So once again, I put together two of these loungers together. I put the egg chairs here. I also used this item from, I do believe it's like a divider from Island Living to put it here like in the back. I thought it was pretty cool just to like include more of that like beachy vibe. I did also put in this bubble blower with like a few seats there so you can have like a fun time with your sims. There is a keg here so you can do some some keg stands if you would like to, another one of these snack tables, and I also thought it would be really fun to do the flip-flop lights in here. The last room is actually a bit different than the rest, I feel like. It is a retro-inspired party room, I suppose. It's very crowded in here. I think the Sims are liking this one. <laughs> 
We also have a bartender here. So we do have the new bar from the Party Essentials kit here. The Party Essentials kit actually comes with a few like retro items as well. So I think that's why I wanted to make this room. And I mixed in some items from Get Famous because, because that uh, pack also has some retro items. We do have some balloons, some snacks, um, some drinks as well. And I thought it would just be like really cool to have this other unique room. And it could be used as more of like a fancy room as well if you would like to. Or maybe it's like a, a costume party theme. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I do hope you liked the idea of the themed party rooms though. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a follow for more content in the future. If you want to be notified of when I upload a video next, make sure to click the bell icon too. This build is playtested and up on my gallery. My ID is Haname Sims, or you can find me with the hashtag Haname Sims as well. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today as we build this modern party lounge and I can't wait to talk to you all in the next video. Until then, take care, bye!